Okay, y'all. These are my pool ponds right now. As you can see, there's a turtle right there. This, this turtle is actually a pond slider. But there he is right there. These are, they have very big claws. And otherwise, he's a pretty cool turtle. My pool ponds, I would agree. I would, I would say that they are a little boring. I got some rare crawfish, that many turtle in there. There's, there's that pond slider in here. There's a couple baby turtles in here. This to keep the aerator, uh, this tub right here just to keep the aerator out. Just some spare water if I need to fill up anything. And a whole bunch of freaking catfish. There is over 10,000 catfish in here. But, so if y'all are wondering what my aerator looks like under, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of people, friends ask what it looks like. But we're gonna be teaching, we're gonna be showing y'all today. So do that right there. But how it looks is pull up this sucker right here. Pull it up without messing with the aerator. Do that pick up the aerator too? Okay, no. But here she is, y'all. So here's the aerator. It's actually a uh, septic tank pump. But what I did was I went straight in here. I got some hose for it and got a big old stone. And there you go. And that's how I aerate this. I got six foot of hose. Here's the aerator. I got this red old, I got some, I got this uh, cooler right here. Set it up on top. There's an extension cooler all the way over there. But yeah, I, I keep this where, just in case if any of the ponds were to overfill, it wouldn't mess with any of the electricity boxes or anything like that. And like jack up anything or tick around with anything or get the electricity messed up or something. But as you can see, if, if you do fall to the extension cord, ooh, we meet, we run into this, another extension cord. But we keep this crate here where it's up off the ground so if rain does come, like last night, crazy rain. See this, it's all filled. It's up off the ground and no electricity gets messed with. But I think my pool ponds are pretty boring right now. I mean, there's some cool stuff. This right here has some rare species in it of crawfish, like that right there. I hope y'all can see that good. Let's get a close up. Yeah, y'all can see that. That crawfish right there, I actually caught that in a video on the second channel. I want to be filming this video on the second channel. I don't know though, but I think my pool ponds are pretty boring. If I could say so myself. We're gonna be making a new one. Oh, haha. -ha. Voila! A bucket. You see what we got in here? Nothing. That would be perfect. Y'all. So we're gonna be putting the pool pond right here. Let's move this meadow trap on the second channel. This may be the second channel, just so y'all know. But we lost this trap actually. Y'all gonna watch that video? We caught a very rare crawfish, actually. And this trap has a baby dents in it now from filming that video. But here's the trap. We still didn't manage to get the clip back. But yeah. So we're gonna be throwing the full pond right here. The new one. So let's move out these, let's move these rocks from out of the way. We'll throw these in the full pond. So those, whoop. Grab the tote. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Now. Now that we have that already, here's the here's the real rare crawfish. I don't know what its name is, but I call it Indian Ray. That's what I call it. But we're gonna we're gonna get some dirt. Okay, y'all. I got you propped up by a stick and stuff. So how we're gonna do it? So I have this five gallon bucket over here. But how I like to do it is let's grab this five gallon bucket full of water. Let's set it up over here on the rim. How I like to do it is get your bucket, fill it up with a little water at the bottom. Uh, about less than an inch of water. That water right there is good. That is about, that's about an inch of water right there, y'all. So that's going to be perfect. No more than an inch. Then, here's our bucket. But here we go. It doesn't matter if it's dirty or whatever because it will clear up but then what i like to do reach your other pool ponds 
grab some dead fish. Let's grab some dead fish. Throw them down in the bottom. Okay, we're gonna leave some dead fish in there. But I, let's throw some of those dead catfish in the bottom. And then we're gonna throw some dirt in there. So let's go get some dirt. Okay, y'all. We have the pool pond all, all the dirt in it. So now we're just gonna grab some rocks about like that size right there. Chunk them in. Nothing too big. Get you some rocks, chunk them in. Break, break up, break up your rocks. Chunk them in. I don't know if I can break this one. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to break this one. Some of them can't break. It doesn't matter. Chunk them in. Find you some good spots for them. Soak them. Soak them. Soak them. Soak them. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna keep a little ready. Cause you're gonna keep a little. And everywhere where you just put rocks, get you about a handful. Some mud. Go over it. Now, now we go get something and we're gonna cut the camera for this because we'll be right back though a few moments later okay i'm back y'all then you're gonna plant of some sort it doesn't matter what kind it doesn't matter how big it is it doesn't matter how small Let's get you some plants it doesn't matter two three sixty hundred i like to do one or two in these syrup buckets like this with this one, I'm going to do one. Then, grab you some mud off the bank. Kind of cake it in there around it. Just like that. Just like that, baby. If you don't like your, how your water's up or anything like that, start getting a cup, drying out your water, or putting more in. I kind of like my water level here. It's a little shallow, but we're going to pour a little bit more water in. Just like that. I didn't want too much more. And there you go, just like that. And that's how you create a pool pond. Now you just got to get stuff for it. Now the stuff I'm going to put in it, I don't know yet. I could reach over to this pool, the pink pool pond over there and grab some stuff out of it. But it's fine. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab something for them to hang on and get on to. Crawfish or whatever. So I have a stick here. We're gonna try keeping it together as much as possible. Now, oh crap, all those sticks. Okay, look at this, y'all. It's perfect. Let's break this off. See how? One second. Y'all see how? Let's pull that off. Okay. Y'all see how all these are connected, but there's three different sticks. That right there is perfect. And then stick that into your bank there. Stick that kind of out of the water there, just like that, and they love that. Just the tiniest of stuff. Grab you some more. Stick it in the water. Grab you some more. Stick it in the water. Now these bigger sticks, you can just. Oh crap, this one's live, son. You can break them. Just like that. Stick them in the ground. Just like that. Grab some more. Oh, this one's not breaking. That doesn't matter. Then, just like that. Actually, I'm going to go get a bigger stick. I'll be right back, y'all. A few moments later. See this stick right here? This has been in many of my pool ponds, but yeah, it's been in many. It, like, I've used it in many pool ponds. And we're going to throw it in this one today. So what, what I like to do in the sticks, throw them in your water bucket, get them all wet. I'll chunk them in here. Just like that. Get them all wet. Then, prop these up. Prop these up somehow. Flip that stick right there. Flip that one. Just like that. And 
and crawfish will love this. Now, if you're not making this for crawfish, you're making it for a turtle, maybe get something bigger, but it depends the size of the turtle. Like this, stick this one down in there. Just like that, y'all. If you don't like your water level, go ahead and drain some with your cup or whatever. Then there you go, which I love mine. And if a rain does come and start filling yours up, just drain it out. And these syrup buckets, they don't have plugs in them. So, yeah, that kind of limits your options. So you kind of got to scoop or you can just dump them like I do. Which I scoop if there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in there. Which we're going to go pull up some, we're going to go pull up some mineral traps and, and crop happy traps to see what we got. We'll be right back, y'all. A few moments later. Okay, y'all, we're back. And, uh, yeah. These suckers are so tiny that I don't even know. There's six of them. So that's how I know how much I have. But look at these suckers. I mean, they're not tiny, tiny, but they're pretty tiny. Look at that, y'all. Let's get close to the camera here. Look at that. That is crazy. One. There's another one, too. Five. Then, for the last one, we're gonna throw it in the mini kitty pool because you know, I can, I can. The water's clear and stuff, and it's always gonna be clear. And yeah. So yeah. Okay. What I like to do with my extra water after I get done mineral trap, so I always have a five-gallon bucket, and I'll fill it up with water. I'll keep it by the pool pond and stuff. Then, then when I need to fill up a pool pond, I can. Put that, put that water in there. Or when I need a drain to pull on, I can put the water in here. Ow! Oh, don't scratch me! It's not nice! Ah! And we have this little guest here. That keeps on scratching me. Ah! 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 Look at that, y'all. Oh, those jaws are right into me. I meant those claws are right into me. Look at those big claws. Look at that, y'all. Oh! 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 That guy hurts. But y'all, we're gonna have pool punch everywhere. We're going to have the coolest pool ponds you've ever seen. We're going to be teaching you how to make your own pool ponds at home with whatever you got. So figure it out. Even if it's a tote, if it's a kiddie pool that you got from the dollar store for 15 bucks, if it's an old water trough, if it's a syrup bucket, if it's a random tote like this, if it's a five gallon bucket, whatever it is, we're going to be teaching you how to make a pool pond out of it. We, we, we want you to have your own pool pond. So we're gonna be teaching you, we're gonna be teaching you how to make your own. So first up, what you need? The most important thing is, well, most important before, let me stand on this down here. Sit back a little. But the most important thing is Find a spot where you can find crawfish or bluegill or something. And if you already know a spot, good. But if you don't have a spot, this is gonna make your pool pond a lot more boring. And we're gonna be teaching you how to make everything survive for years. So if, if you don't, if you can't find any fish, maybe just go by the pet store or something. No, actually not. Maybe go by, oh, I got you. Go buy a bait shop and get you some minnows, some shrimp, some, nah, shrimp won't work, uh, some shad, some stuff like that, bait fish. Go get you some bait fish. Get you, then, then the most important thing once you find your fish is the tub. You got to have a tub of some sort. You got me there? So if you don't have a tub, dig a hole and if you don't have a hole get a shovel and if you don't have a shovel buy a shovel and if you don't have the money to buy a shovel get a tub so yeah don't dig a hole but then you gotta find the spot farther you see my house y'all see my house yeah y'all see my house and stuff up there 
farther away than I have my house. Well, my pool pond. You're gonna want your, where there's no mosquitoes trying to go in there. Then, if you're raising bait fish, like I do, like those mini catfish, well, I'm, I'm not using for bait, but I have bait fish in there. I'm using those catfish until they get big, you know, and I'm gonna you know, stock a pond with them. But, if you're gonna do like that, you're gonna need an aerator. And aerators can get from 20 bucks to 400 bucks. And maybe even more than that. My aerator is actually $400. Yeah. I just had a spare one, so why not? Mine is actually a septic tank pump type thing, whatever you call that. But yeah, that's what mine is. So I just had mine laying around, so I just went ahead and used it. And I rigged it up, got it, you a stone and stuff. But then next thing you're gonna need is dirt if you don't have dirt if you live in an apartment complex well if you live in an apartment complex you're not gonna have anywhere to throw your dirt well anywhere to throw your tub but go find you some dirt anywhere just go get you some old texas dirt or if you live in oklahoma i don't care whatever oh my hook is fixed i think if you live in i don't know what state most states have dirt i think I would think, right? But, go get you some dirt. Then what you're gonna need is a stick. Why is it so lively? A stick. Break your stick like that. Just a stick. Yeah, maybe your dog brought up a stick or something, or your cat. Do cats carry sticks? I don't know. Y'all tell me. This thing. One of these comes off a tree. Chunk one of those in your pool pond. Well, I know that did not make it, but still. And then, you're gonna need plants. Even if it's grass, even if it's something for that you bought from the store. But I would just recommend grass. Then, uh, yeah, throw that in there with a root system. Then get you some crawl pappies everything and yeah there you go and we're going to be explaining this in a video and we're actually going to show you the process then like me we're raising bait fish here oh uh, let's see uh this little dude right here see how this little catfish right here is dead there's another one let's grab it too oh that's the one i just dropped no never mind okay see how these two little catfish are dead y'all these right here perfect now crawl pappy pond Throw some in there. Crop up usually eat on it. Mainly bluegill, but you get your other one, throw it in there. Pernifioto. It's, it's good to have more multiple ponds, but I, I'm going to have to say, see you on the next one. Okay, actually, one second. I'm not out yet. Y'all can go ahead and end the video here because this is going to be a little talking about merch. If you want to go buy you some merch, some merch, which this is not merch, this is Magellan. Thank you, Magellan, for making some very comfy shirts. But if you want to go buy you some merch, I actually do not sell it right now, sadly. At 10,000 subscribers or maybe 9,400 or something like that, maybe 8,000, I'm going to start selling you some merch. I have already have it all designed and stuff. And yeah, I, I have the designs and everything. We're gonna have hoodies, hats, knives, pop sockets. I don't even know what those things are. Those are the things that hold the back of your phone, I think. Uh, phone cases, stickers, bracelets. Uh, water hoses. No, we're not gonna sell water hoses, I'm sorry. Not actually. Uh, we're gonna have survival kit. Yeah, stuff like that. We're gonna have I don't know, we're gonna have everything, okay? We're gonna have all the stuff I just mentioned. But first what we're gonna start off with, hats, hoodies, Shirts, socks. We're also gonna make socks. 
but we're gonna start off with those three hats hoodies shirts we're gonna start off with those and we'll catch y'all on the next one kp out